Jennifer and welcome back to my channel again. Now I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Hey, I like my fire in the background. I just thought I'd get in the mood of fall and I love it. Although it's 70 degrees here today. But <laughs> y'all know how North Carolina, well, I don't know if you know how North Carolina weather is. If you don't live in North Carolina, you really don't know. You can get three to four seasons in one day. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel because I'm going to have a rather large Dollar Tree haul because I buy some of these things and I don't know what to do with some of them. I'm not going to use them and I don't know anybody to give them to as Christmas gifts, so I may include those into the Dollar Tree uh, giveaway. Um, so, it is a rather large, large, large Dollar Tree haul. I have me something to drink because I'm probably going to get thirsty while I'm talking to you, which... I already am. Anyways, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Y'all, I was on the hunt for these caboodles. I loved caboodles whenever I was a kid. These are actually really sturdy, hard plastic. They actually stay together. Like you have to pull them apart. They don't just come apart. See, I, doing that, it doesn't come apart. So I picked up... Um, three of the teal ones and then I picked up the pink one for my daughter's friend best friend Natalie she, this is part of this one is for her Christmas one of her Christmas gifts then I picked Ariana the purple because Natalie's favorite color is pink Ariana's is purple um, I picked up some lip balm this is the cherry bombshell lip balm I picked up the rose oil infused um, q-tips one of the two of these uh facial cleansing brushes for the beauty boxes I picked up two of these uh, elephants i've seen people hauling rubber spatulas and the rubber spoons so here's the regular spoon it's actually it's a little flimsy depending on which one you get it may separate away from the wood you may put some super glue or something i don't know it's up to you whatever you want to do but i think it's okay um, for a dollar, you really can't beat it. So there's that one for the full spoon. They have the in the slotted spoon. Um, and then here's the spatula with the holes. The whole spatula in red. A whole spatula in gray. And then this, which is the uh, Life Begins with Coffee. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute over there with my coffee bar. So I picked this one up, and I even picked the one up for the bathroom. They had it, which is so fresh, so clean. Y'all, you know I love my Dollar Tree sunglasses. So I have a leopard print already, and then I found the black ones. I was so excited, y'all, to find these black sunglasses. I bought these earrings, too. The, a lot of the earrings, if you look, could be hypoallergenic. Um, let me show you what I did for my earrings, too. So I made this from a Dollar Tree splatter pan and a Dollar Tree vase and Dollar Tree um, uh, greenery and such. And then, but I took the splatter screen and just, after I filled the vase with all the greenery, I got, I got this vase two years ago. So after I filled it with all of the greenery, I just stuck the splatter screen down into the vase. So this just sits on my bathroom counter to hold all my earrings. But I wanted to show you this because I got these earrings right here at the Dollar Tree. Those earrings, um, I got these earrings, <laughs> these earrings, these earrings, um, these square gold earrings and all of these right here came with some of the hoops. Um, and then this one, I have to fix one of them. It's not Dollar Tree's fault that the, the little hook came off of the other one to this. I set them in the car and set a drink on them and it broke it off. So my fault that I took them off and did that, but I got that pair as well um, at the Dollar Tree. I picked up Next thing is the Bakery Fresh Bread sign. This looks so cute sitting on top of my bread box. Uh, and then I picked up a little uh, stand to sit it on. So it just sits like this 
on top of my bread box, just like that. And I got two of these in a pack. Then I picked up the Bolero Tropical Pineapple Body Wash. I got was this uh, Blender Baby Food Second Edition book. Um, it originally retailed for $19.95 here in the U.S. and $19.95 in Canada. Um, I'm going to be going to a baby shower um, this month, so I got this as part of the uh, gift basket that I'm going to be making. Um, then I also picked up Successful Infant Feeding, um, which retailed for $18.95. picked up two of the bottle openers one pink and one blue because the person is having twins blanket and a gray blanket next thing I picked up was <laughs> I picked up two cans for the gift baskets for the Christmas presents for the beauty baskets and then I also picked up about hmm six cans for myself of the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean uh, Dry Shampoo. This is a 3.4 ounce can. Is this Real Masters Chef's Casting About with Timing and Grace. Um, it's recipe book for fish, if you're adamant fisher. Um, to retail for $45, $45. I think this is probably the most expensive book I've probably ever bought. Um, hands of the berry merry and bright it smells really really good it just gets me in that Christmassy type cozy feeling mood for Picked up this uh, wet and wild mega last um, uh, fingernail polish uh, it come in a two-pack I don't know where I'd put the lipstick it's around here somewhere um, then I picked up the they had some new wall stickers and this one says wash fold dry repeat for the laundry room then they had one that said, <laughs> laundry room, of course, and it says, sort tomorrow, wash later, dry soon, fold maybe, iron, get real. And if that doesn't fit me, I don't know what does. It fits up this little uh, picture. It's called Hello. It says, Hello Love. It's just a little shadow box uh, picture. And it's really, it's, they have some of the cutest, cutest, cutest wall decor. Um, roosters, this one is for a gift and I already put one in my kitchen because I like farmhouse. <laughs> um, so I picked that up. I picked up one of the lip defining brushes from e.l.f. Um, a 16 pack of Crayola crayons for my daughter. I'm going to put those aside. Uh, oh my gosh. Y'all. Y'all have heard the saying when pigs fly. How cute is that? Look, it's so cute. And he's got his ears covered so he doesn't want to hear no evil. More people need to understand that in this world. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. Come on now. Why can't we all get along? That's all I ask in the world is please just be nice to each other. Where did that go in life? To treat others how you want to be treated. I mean, I just, I don't get it. Anyways, moving on. Red, and it says, all you need, love, coffee. I kept the white one for myself, so they have it in, my store had it in red, white, and the brown lettering. I think that one looks really, really cute. I wear two of these new bath bombs. This is part of the holiday stuff. It's a gnome, it says gnome bath bomb, and little cactuses. So they, my store only had three. I was watching somebody else's haul that said their store had like eight different varieties. I only seen three in my store, but I picked up all three. So I picked up this one. How cute are those? I think that's gonna look really cute in my bathroom. I got some shelves from the Target Dollar Spot that are round with wood and metal. So it looks really, really sleek in there now. I changed up my bath, half bathroom. I got this one. And these are probably, I'm going to say, about three inches tall, maybe. Did I get? Oh, look at that. I didn't even get two different ones. Only thing different, well, it's a little different. That side and that side's different. But other than that, <laughs> that looks really similar. Of course I would. 
Anyways, I got the Bomb Avengers. Uh, I have a couple of kids in my family that love superheroes, so I figured that would be really, really cute for the Christmas time. Coffee stuff. A lot of people are saying this is actually a little bit of expensive type of coffee uh, because of the people I'm doing the uh, coffee gift baskets, they have K-Cups or they have Keurig, so they need K-Cups. Well, this is the Copper Moon Donut Coffee K-Cups. Uh, it's a classic blend, medium roast. Um, I've heard other people say on their channels that have Keurigs that they really like them. We used to have a Keurig. Our Keurig got left outside in the building whenever we are in the process of moving and the water line busted. And so instead of fixing it or anything, we just decided to get a new coffee maker. Well, we got the Ninja Coffee Bar. We absolutely love that. If you want to see the Ninja Coffee Bar and all that, we've even been through the cleaning process and, and all this, and we really like it way better than the Keurig. I'll never go back to Keurig now. Um, but I picked up one of the shadow switching brushes. Uh, thank that little dinosaur, he's so cute. Oh, I love Jurassic Park. Anybody else like Jurassic Park? Comment down below if you like Jurassic Park. I love that movie. That was like the best movie ever. <laughs> but anyway, so I got this other coffee cup. Look how big this is. Okay, I do not have a small hand. I don't. I don't have a small head either. So look at that size of coffee cup. So on our coffee maker, we can do an extra large cup of coffee, right? So the extra large cup of coffee with our coffee maker is about two regular cups of coffee. So I'd say about 16 ounces probably is the extra large cup. Well, I love creamer. So I need extra room in my cup for my creamer as well. So the regular cup, the extra large cup of coffee will brew to about right here, which gives me plenty of extra room to put my creamer. So this is a really good size coffee cup. This thing is very sturdy. I mean, this doesn't say that it's another brand. So I think this is something Dollar Tree is going to be carrying as their own product because all it says is made in China. It doesn't say like, I know people have been finding the plates of beyond, which is what I've been finding too, but that one just strictly says made in china so i'm pretty sure that's going to be a a dollar tree product so be on the lookout for those um i picked up i have christmas stuff mixed in too <laughs> two of these ornaments it's like pine cones or something i don't know just really cute i like to add new decorations to our tree every year and no we have little camper ornaments for my cousins and her family for their tree. Last year, I got them a camper that said uh, Carolina Panthers on it because they're Panthers fans. We're, we live in North Carolina. We're right outside of Charlotte. So if you're gonna like football, why not like the home team? So I, I don't watch football. And I'm so glad my husband doesn't either. I'm lucky I don't have to get be stuck in the house on a Sunday. Anyways, or Monday night or, or what is it? Monday night, Thursday night, Sunday, I'm, I'm good. So I got them these two little campers. I figured I'd just put them outside, like tape them on the outside of their Christmas presents. Um, I found toys for my family's kids um, as well. So we got the Ryan's World Squishies in at our Dollar Trees. Um, I found some more of the Orb Bullies and I think these were selling, I know they were, they were more than $5 when I looked online. So, I mean, these are a lot of really good toys. Um, so if you do toys for tots and you like to donate, things like that, please go to your Dollar Tree and look. Um, here's another and squishy, so it's actually Ryan. Um, I don't know why kids love these squishies, but they do. Uh, this is Gus, I do know Gus. That's the one I do know besides Ryan, and that's it. So there's Gus. Um, this one is, I don't know if this is actually a brand. I don't think this is, I think this is actually a Dollar Tree exclusive. So it's one of their toys. It's a squishy toy and that's all it says it's with squishy beads on the inside, but it's like a monster. But I thought that was cute. I have a four year old uh, nephew and I think he would really like that. Um, so I got him, I found some of their new signs. This one says love and it's a dog. We don't have cats, they did have cats, but we don't have cats, we have dogs. So I got the love. This one is the black and white one and it says be the person your dog thinks you are. We all know, watch, I mean, I've ordered a watch. I want everybody to watch my videos, but 
Look away, Jennifer, if you watch. Look away, because these are for her. Uh, they're gray and white. Of course, they look really farmhousey, sleek, but she absolutely loves elephants. Um, and we watched a movie, and I can't remember. It was on Netflix, but the woman actually goes to Africa after her husband leaves her because her son leaves to go off to college. And it has Robert Lowe in it, I think. Um, and it's actually a really, really good movie. But she goes, this woman goes on vacation, meets Robert Lowe's character, and goes to a elephant reservation where they they help uh, elephant uh, baby elephants be raised because their moms have been killed for their tusk. So, oh my God, I, I cry. You'll cry. But it's on Netflix. You'll have to look it up. Uh, anyway, so I was blessed. And it's like a palish orange. Um, it's, it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. They have um, the candle section, but this is not a candle holder. It says enjoy every moment. It is a wine glass. Um, I don't know if you've uh, got the hard candy highlighter uh, for the baskets. Um, I got, I found uh, so much name brand at these stores. Uh, this is an eyeshadow primer by Jessie's Girl. I don't know if anybody's tried Jessie's Girl. I haven't, but I heard it's a pretty good brand. Um, but Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer, I mean, it just makes your eyeshadow stay on longer. That's the only thing. So, smoky palettes, I do not need any eyeshadow. Although, I'm on the hunt for the makeup baskets, but it's the Ellie Colors Smokies. And Ellie Colors as the uh, liquid eyeliner, but... I'm just going to throw that in the basket. If they want to use it, they can use it. If they don't, then that's fine with me. But I picked it up. It's $1. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, soft Lips, the coconut flavor. We know these go for you. had the Nickelodeon Slime Silver Glitter. Um, I picked... There's blue. There's green. Gold. And red and but it's the nickelodeon little milk glass thing i don't have anywhere for this but i thought it was really really cute so metal galvanized signs they had happy and these measure i'm gonna have 5.1 inches so they're 11 inches long and five inches tall i mean that's big. And they had it in family. And they had it in home. I think four of these eyebrow pencils, uh, the dark brown. I really, 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 really like this brown, dark brown brow pencils. Um, they're very crease brush um, for uh, blending out your eyeshadow. Uh, oh, these are mine. I have is two of these uh, setting sprays by LA Colors. I have some for myself. I haven't used it yet, but I picked those up for the makeup baskets. Comment below if you've used those and let me know if you like them. Um, I picked up some of the Nivea uh, Foaming Silk Body Wash. This one's Raspberry Parfait. I don't know what it smells like, but I like raspberry. This one, and then they had the Nivea Foaming Silk Mousse Body Wash by Bella, Bella, la, la, Vanilla Caramel. Um, then they had the Garnet Fructis um, uh, Natural Look Liquid Cream, and it's a low hold. And I noticed that, and they had all three in my store, but I just got two of them. Um, to try out. So this one is the low hold because I don't like my hair to get crunchy if I put anything in it. So I got this one from the natural look. And then I also got Garnet Fructis um, Matte Plus Messy Liquid Putty. And then um, and this is another Bolero body wash. I haven't tried this yet, but this is the Coconut and Wild Berries. Since I like the Tropical um, Lip Pencil it's the, I'm sorry, Lip Suede Velvet Lip Chubby. And then this one is in color Ready to Bloom. And let me swatch this for you. And it's really creamy and just really, really pretty. Look how bright that is. 
I mean, it's very, very pigmented. Um, this one is also the Lip Chubby, and this one is called Coral, Coral, Coral Floral, and it's just a really pretty coral color. This would be great for the summertime. Both of these will, actually. This one's not as pigmented as the other one, but still, I mean, it's a coral color, so it's a little bit lighter. It's more of an orangey color, so, I mean, it's still really pretty. This one has to be my favorite, but it's called Berry More. It's funny because I said, see, it's this one right here. It's more of a purplish fall color. So that's my favorite nail file. I'm keeping this one for myself and not for the Christmas gift. <laughs> um, by far has to be my favorite by Remy Rose. Um, it's actually a lipstick and not one of their um, liquid lip stains or liquid lipsticks but, because you can buy the velvets of those. Um, and so this one is called Madison. So here's what it looks like in the packaging. It's just plain and simple packaging. And then um, it'll say Remy Rose right on the front. I don't know if you can see that. No, it's because of the reflection. Um, but it, it even says the name on the bottom, Madison. So you'll know, always know which one you're using. But this is what it looks like. It's more of a purplish plum color. So, ooh, maybe not. I like that. That is perfect for the fall. Yeah, I really like that. Ooh. Uh-huh. Mm, it's nice and it's like a, it's real creamy. It's not sticky. I really like that. That'd be really pretty if you put a stick. Um, and it's called Tender Tuberlo, tu I cannot talk today. Tender Tuber Rose is what it's called. So I think all her packaging is really, really pretty. Um, I'm not sure if I really get in her products. So, ooh, that one is pretty. Look at that. That's that's gorgeous. I like that. All right, so let's see what it looks like. Um, it takes it a second to get off on your hand, but it's not bad looking. I don't know if I'd wear that every day. It's okay. Buttercup, and it's called and it's LS22. I really like the black and the gold packaging. It looks really high end. Again, made in the U.S. Color. Um, like a pinkish, pinkish nude. So again, let's swatch this. Hmm. Actually not, that's come out really pink actually. So there's that one. That'd be perfect. Apricot Blossom. And... This one is more a color, like a nudish color. Again, it's the black and gold packaging, made one looks like. Um, it's not as pink as the other one, but it's still like, it's, so it's still got a little bit of a pink in it right there, so that's that one. Sorry, flower um, nail polish. I love, love, love this color. It's really similar to that um, Wet n Wild one I showed you earlier. It's almost, if you hold this, it's, called, it's by Flower as well. It's called Petal to the Metal, and it's the Lip Balm, so it's LB1. And then I have the LB Pink uh, color. So, pink, so that's definitely a summer color. But it's real creamy, kind of Rosy Future LB3 pink. It's not as hot pink as the other one, but it's still pink. It's the other one, so it's still very pink when you put it on. That I have. It's called LB7. The name is Sheer Snapdragon. So this is more of a color. It's got an orangish brown tint to it. Plump gloss. And this one is called Madness. 
and this is what the product looks like. This one's more of a reddish color. I don't know if I can feel any of the clump gloss. This one is called Careless. It's more of a pinky mauve color. So a lot of these are perfect for me. I like the mauve color. It actually matches the shirt I have on right now. So there's the, the mauve color. Urge by LA Colors. This one's kind of on the nude now in my hand. And that, I mean, so you can see that's more of a nudish color. Um, and again, this one is called um, Call Me is what it's called. And this has a purple tint to it, definite purple. Um, purple. So there's Call Me. So that's more of a pinkish color than actual purple, actually, after you get it on. So there's this color lip glosses. I only seen two at the store. It was a really pretty color. I didn't even hardly put anything on it. And it's definite brown. I really like this one. Wow, intensely brown. I mean, look at that pigmentation. Holy cow. Oh my God. But I still have an entire room in there in my sitting room of stuff to go through. <laughs> so this video is already almost an hour long. So I'm just gonna, and I will pick up again in another video for everything else that I have found. Um, please comment below what your favorite product is. Let me know if you've been able to find any of the flower products. Um, let me know which your favorite is. Um, let me know if you've tried out the fitting, but until next time, y'all have a great day.